Hi guys, Valiant Pixel Tech here, VST. Welcome back on the channel. I have my Pixel 3a here, and what you can see on the screen is exactly what I think you think it is. Google Fit, the latest update arrived, the feature drop for all the Pixel devices happened, and right now I have these two new cards under Google Fit. And in this video, you guys, I'm gonna set up the heart rate check and also the respiratory rate check. I'm gonna be doing a quick test with a heart rate sensor that I know is good and also a quick comparison with something old fashioned but very cool and a dedicated sensor indeed into the classic Snapdragon Galaxy Samsung S9. But without any further ado guys, let's start the video and dive in. So if you have been watching my channel and some other tech channels, you know that Google are a big fans of feature drops. Last month they upgraded a YouTube client, allowing all phones to swim with high resolution. To this day I'm wondering actually what the benefit of this is. But hey, this month we got an updated version of Google Fit and in this version we have the option to check the heart rate and track the respiratory rate. But hey, just take a look at the Pixel 3a, it only has one camera sensor, right? So nothing really dedicated and I'm very eager to understand how Google implemented this and how well will it work. Before we start the video guys, I'm gonna be putting the link down below to the latest APK Google Fit. It only runs right now on Pixel phones, so if you don't have a Pixel, set for you, but if you wanna test it on your Pixel device, make sure that you download this APK. Now this APK for me was not available on Google Play Store, so I had to manually sideload it, but hey, here it is and I'm gonna put it for you as well. Let's start with the heart rate first. Check your heart rate. Did you know things like dehydration can affect your heart rate? Measure yours at any time just using your phone. And here we indeed see a person pressing the camera and pushing the camera. Let's see, get started. So we click on the card here. Measure your heart rate with your phone camera. Hey, this guy has a beard, nice. See how your body responds in different situations by measuring your heart rate after things like exercising or drinking caffeine or take a reading in the morning to track your heart rate at rest. All right, it's right now not the best time because it's almost 10 p.m. But anyway, next, you just need to give us your hand. All right, okay, I mean, you already have my fingerprint rule, so put your finger over your rear facing camera lens to measure your heart rate. For the most accurate read, make sure you are in a well-lit area and can hold your hand steady. All right, you got it. Press next. All right, we're gonna be allowing all the permissions. Place your fingertip fully over the camera lens, hold your hand steady and apply light pressure with your finger. And now guys, I wanna show you something interesting. We have here the Samsung Galaxy Snapdragon S9, which has a dedicated sensor. And I just wanna show you by pressing calibrate here, it actually has two sensors here, right? You see the blue one and also the red one, because the red one apparently is able to measure things like heart rate, but we have also the blue one measuring blood oxygen. Anyway, two sensors, right? on the back on the S9, but yeah, sadly, Samsung just killed these things, I think starting from the S20, no sensors. So I'm very eager to understand how Pixel are gonna be doing this only with the camera. All right, so I'm gonna take the phone in my hand, I'm gonna be covering the lens here with my finger, and I'm gonna be pressing start measurement. All right. Detecting the pulse in your fingertip, keep your hand still and apply light pressure, okay. <laughs> Right, I'm not supposed to laugh. It actually really does take readings. That, that's really insane. 79 beats per minute. You can see down below here, right? 80 beats per minute. I'm speaking, that's not really the best ideal scenario. 81 BPM, all right? 81, 82 BPM. Almost there, let's see. Almost there, 90%. Okay, good. Measurement complete, 80 beats per minute. Measurement complete, 75 bit PM. All right, let me do the same here again. It's my other hand, but this time I will not speak during the measurement. Okay, just to be sure that we really have the same kind of environment. Okay, now measure. Seventy-eight, seventy-five. I mean, you know, Google is Google, guys. Incredible job. It's actually very close to what I get on my Active 2. All right, but now we are getting into a more interesting area, tracking the respiratory rate. And this is something I'm looking forward to see how it's gonna work. Measuring your breathing can give your understanding of your body well-being. Use your phone camera to take a reading. So let's get started. Measure your respiratory rate with your phone camera. 
See how your body regulates your breathing by measuring your respiratory rate. For most people, it's usually stable, but you might notice changes if you're feeling stressed or unwell. We're gonna be pressing next here. So simply position yourself within the frame. I need to look at the phone. Fit will detect small movements in your chest to measure your respiratory rate. Make sure you're seated and remove any items covering your face, including hats, masks, and wait a few minutes if you have been active recently. Okay guys, let me just do this and we're gonna see the result. Prop up your phone, lean your phone on a stable surface so that you can comfortably see yourself from the waist up when measurement starts. All right guys, I'm gonna be using this lamp as a stand with my phone. So let's try to start the measurement. All right, okay. Okay. Tracking small changes in your chest. Breathe comfortably and hold still. Almost there. <sighs> Measurement complete. All right, this was really strange, guys. Let's see what we have here. Indeed, very strange piece of software. 14 respirations per minute. For informational purposes only, consult your local medical authority for advice. Now, that's interesting because this actually just looks with the camera on your chest, right? And it really scans your chest going up and down. So I read bread like 14 times and maybe that's okay. I'm really not sure, you know, what rating you can get from this. Here we have the respiratory rate statistic card. When we click inside, we can see that the respiratory rate is measured in respirations per minute. So this RPM is not what we think, you know, happens when we're in the car and we put the pedal down. No, here, respirations per minute. It can be elevated during exercise or illness. Now, I'm not really sure how this contributes for your health and etc. but you can press here, learn more, and you can understand the importance of the respiratory rate. For most adults, a normal respiratory rate is between 12 to 20 RPM and we know RPM respirations per minute. Measuring your respiratory rate can help you give an insight into your general well-being. This is also the introductions. This is a Pixel 3a device so it's an old device and respect for Google for this feature drop enabling heart rate measurement with the lens of the camera and also tracking of respiration rate. Really thumbs up. If you like the video guys then you probably will be certain to understand that 95% of the people watching this channel are not subscribed. Please help me fix that one. Any sub to the channel will be appreciated. Guys, please stay safe, pay attention to your health and your families, and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. With that said, VST over and bye.